them. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's usually that can freak people out. I remember I forget the name of the comedian, but he had this great bit. He was talking about. I ran into the guy. I don't even remember his name, but I it was one of my favorite bits that I saw from one of those evening at the Improvs, and he was talking about how he was the youngest kid in this big family mm -hmm. and how strict the parents were with the older kids. <laughs> and by the time it got down to him, it was, uh, you know, uh, it was basically the only rule was no heroin in the living room. <laughs> and then one of my favorite tags of all time, it was just like, Brian, you're not using one of the good spoons. <laughs> and that was just like, you know, for a clean joke and all that, I, I really loved it. I got to actually run into him and tell him. And I remember just talking to that guy and him just looking at me like, how the fuck does this kid? Oh my god! Rem Bob, remember Bob Nelson? That guy would. Do, there was a guy Bob Nelson would do all crazy. Yeah. And then the I saw him open for Rodney Dangerfield. Really? Right after Back to <laughs> Back to School came out, dude. That summer at Great Woods, <laughs> yeah, in uh, Mansfield, Massachusetts, I saw Rodney Dangerfield, and then a few weeks later, I saw Eddie Murphy on the Raw Whoa. tour. Whoa! And the Weather oh, Girls well, opened insane. up. Weather Girls opened up. They sing It's Rain and Men. Yeah. And they were big girls. And I remember he came out and was doing all these jokes about, I got to check out the stage because the Weather Girls <laughs> could fuck up the stage. Back when you could fat shame people. And um, <clears throat> he had like the purple suit on and all of that Does stuff. He, and, did he always close with his dad eating Tinker Toys and the, the, food, the, the, the toy thing? Remember that? The, I don't remember what he closed. The, uh, I mean, Eddie. Eddie, we, we would eat our Tinker Toys, Eddie. That whole thing that he would do is because that was a thing seen raw, which now you watch raw and you're like, geez, there's some stuff you can do now in that show. Yeah. But that, uh, that but that's end not bit, fair to him. That's not, I know, I yeah, know, but it's, like it's just like ago. it was 30 years ago. But you go like, uh, yeah, at SNL, you would watch something. Oh, you guys got to watch Raw. And then they would come back and go, why did you find that funny? It was so offensive and everything. And go, wow, I, I don't know, you know. Uh, you, you, what about the thing at the end? You know, I would just try to concentrate on the thing I found. Oh, no, really when funny, I watch that know? thing, it, it, it makes me sad that he stopped because yeah. he was 25 years old. And uh, when he was talking about, uh, you know, the level of success he got to and thinking about getting married and seeing Johnny Carson getting divorced and all of that yeah. stuff and saying, you know, women get half, that's bullshit. You know, mm -hmm. somebody, women get half and that woman goes, that's right. And he goes, nah, that's bullshit. Yo, let me tell you about a story so true. We're showing me style and it's all so cool. It's about a garment torn and frayed. Getting his friends, a story conveyed. Walking down the streets with holes in my teeth. Each rip them here, part of me you see. It ain't about the brand of the label it holds. It's about the journey, the stories it unfolds. In these ragged clothes, I find my voice. A testament to resilience, my choice. From the streets to the stage, I rock my style. In my tattered shirt, I walk that mile. The tour, but still I stand in my ragged attire I command, it's not just fabric It's a statement, I preach in my threadbare garment I find my reason From the barrio to the bar, I make my mark In my worn out jeans, I leave a spark They may call it rags, but I call it art In every stitch and tear, I play my part It's the struggle of the streets, the hustle so real In my tattered jacket, I seal the deal A symbol of defiance against the status quo My passion, the pants, I let it show It's not about the riches or the wealth I lack In my faded hoodie, I stay on track It's the heart of the hustle, the grind each day In my worn out kips, I find my way Ripped and torn, but still I stand In my ragged attire Command. It's not just fabric, it's a statement I preach. In my threadbare garment, I find my reach. So here's to the ones with the clothes that tear in our patched up attire. We have, so let the world see our garments worn. For in our rags, our stories are born. In the language of the streets, we speak. In our torn up clothes, we find our peak. Shit, it was like he was going to that next level where it's like, oh, now this guy is gonna, you know, start saying what he thinks about all this stuff. Because, you know, the, the delirious was amazing yeah but it was uh you know ralph cramden having sex with you know yeah yeah that Gooly stuff. Goo -goo and Goody all that, Goo -goo and, all that Goo -goo, stuff. Yeah. and then all of a sudden he was like it was <laughs> you've seen this guy finding his voice and uh and then i mean who knew that i would go see him and then that was actually like the farewell was, tour yeah well i think when he did that the thing at the end of raw was the thing i saw you know as he when i was young and it went wow he's just uh, by himself, he might as well buy, be by himself in his room. 